Lesson 4, Multi-Step Problems. In this lesson, we will use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to solve problems with several steps. We will also determine when and how to break a problem into similar parts. In order to do this, we need to know how to take steps in order from left to right in a problem with more than one addition or subtraction step. This is going to connect back to lesson two in our order of operations. We also need to be able to take steps in order from left to right in a problem with more than one multiplication or division step. Again, connecting to lesson two. And then the last part is doing the work within the parentheses first when solving a problem with more than one step. Again, tying into our lesson two order of operations. Throughout this lesson and various word problems throughout the year, you're going to see these four different math words being used in word problems. Sum is when the answer is the answer when we add. The difference is the answer when we subtract. Product is the answer when we multiply. And the quotient is the answer when we divide. And I actually have this on the wall of the classroom, so if you ever forget, you can always refer to that. Let's take a look at this first problem. What is the difference between the product of 6 and 4 and the sum of 6 and 4? In this problem, we see the word difference, product, and sum. We first look for phrases such as the product of 6 and 4. We will rewrite the question emphasizing these phrases. For each phrase, we find one number. So let's see if we can figure out what is the product of 6 and 4. Okay, so we have 6 and 4. We can make that into a product. And let's see if we can figure out what is the sum of 6 and 4. 6 and 4. Okay. And now we would just want to find the difference between the two. Let's see if we can simplify this problem. Okay. Thinking back to our order of operations, we would want to do what's inside the parentheses first. So let's take a look. 6 times 4 is 24. And we'll do what's inside this parenthesis next. 6 plus 4 is 10. We've now simplified the problem to 24. Take 10 away. The difference between two, those two values is 14. We'll put a box around our answer. Let's take a look at this next problem. We'll have to connect to uh, lesson two order of operations to figure this one out. Okay. Scanning through the problem, we don't see any parentheses. We also don't see any exponents. We do, however, see some multiplication and division. So we want to first take care of this multiplication here and this division here. So to simplify, we have 6 times 3, which is 18. We have not done anything with that addition or sum. We have 12 divided by 3, and the quotient is 4. We haven't done anything with the 6 yet either. Now again, here we have an addition symbol and a subtraction symbol. We want to do what's first on the left, so we're going to do the addition first. 18 plus 4 is 22. And we want to take the 6 away. And the last operation, the difference between 22 and 6 is 16. Let's take a look at this next problem. Christina plans a conference which will cost $22 per person for food and $83 per person for a hotel room. Two groups of people will attend the conference. One group will have 30 people and the other group will have 52. To determine the total cost of the conference, Christina finds the product of the sum of 22 and 83 and the sum of 30 and 52. What is the total cost? So in order to understand this problem, we have to look for those key words. I see the word product, I see the word sum, and sum. And you'll notice that it says the sum of 22 and 83, and the sum of 30 and 52. Okay, there we have enough information to solve this problem. We'll say 
the sum of 22 and 83. We'll put some parentheses. And the sum of 30 and 52. Okay, and we know that we want to find the product of both of these. So now we can find the sum of each. The sum of 22 and 83 is 105. And the sum of 30 and 82 is, excuse me, and 52 is 82. We will multiply those two values. And the product of those two values is 8,600. We know this is dealing with money, so we can put the dollar sign right there, 8,610. Sorry. Let's take a look at this last problem. Julie is planning on going to the store to buy eight cans of dog food that cost 67 cents per can. She has $20 and wants to know the amount of money she will have left after purchasing the dog food. To determine the amount of money left, Julie finds the difference of $20 and the product of 67 cents and 8. So here again we can locate those key words. I see the word difference and I see the word product. Okay. So we're finding the difference of 20 and the product of 67 cents and 8. So we know that we're going to multiply 67 cents by 8 and we'll end up with five dollars and 36 cents and now we want to find the difference between the twenty dollars and the five dollars and 36 cents and after regrouping We'll be left with fourteen dollars and sixty four cents. Okay. Now go on to your lesson practice located on the blog and on to your written practice. Good luck.